Hi fellas, just a quick one tonight, just hoping for a bit of help and feedback from you guys. Um, I've done a, a kit uh, lager for the last couple of weeks. That's one of the bottles. Um, I did use a genuine lager yeast, well I actually used two times a uh, brew firm uh, dried lager yeast, uh, rehydrated, uh, just the basic uh, Wilco's kit and uh, fermented at 14 degrees for some to eight days and uh, when I took the airlock off, bang, um, there was nothing like it, absolutely bad eggs and I have done a couple of lagers, I've, I've used uh, lager yeast before, nothing like this, it's just absolutely rotten. Um, even in the, um, the sample tube, it was so bad. Um, well, it's an infection, I don't know. A bit of feedback from you fellas would be really appreciated. Um, I don't know what's different to before. I raised the temperature last couple of days up to 20 degrees for diacetyl rest, um, and it still smelled the same after that. Whether that would affect it, I don't know. It certainly didn't change anything for me. Uh, so I have keg 19 litres, unfortunately. And I've just managed to get five of these pet bottles out. Now, uh, what I know from you guys is you've had the same kind of problem. Um, and will that smell dissipate after a couple of months in either the keg or the bottle? Uh, that's about it, really. Um, other than that, it may be an infection, I don't know. Um, I did look on my um, fermenter and down at the bottom uh, where I've been mixing in the. Um, the uh, tree, uh, the tin, sorry. Um, there has been a bit of uh, a few scratches in the bottom, so I think it may also be time for um, a new fermenter, so that's uh, on the way. But uh, other than that, I don't know. Uh, this is part one. What I'll do, um, I'm doing Stoptober, so I've got another best part of three weeks without a beer, unfortunately. I'm going to crack one open, one out of the keg, one out of the bottle, and uh, see if that smells still there. But uh, any feedback and uh, Thanks for watching, uh, catch you later.